The holidays start here at Kroger with a variety of options to celebrate traditions old and new. You could do a classic herb roasted turkey or spice it up and make turkey tacos. Serve up a go-to shrimp cocktail or use Simple Truth wild-caught shrimp for your first Cajun risotto. Make creamy mac and cheese or a spinach artichoke fondue from our selection of Murray's cheese. No matter how you shop, Kroger has all the freshest ingredients to embrace all your holiday traditions. Kroger, fresh for everyone. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the TMOS Boss Show. And in today's episode, so I wanted to talk on uh, Ungrateful Kids because, man, like, it, it's something where I was just sitting down thinking about it, and I'm like, why, why do kids carry on like that? You know, like, what, what makes... Because, see, here's the thing. In my household, you know, you always had respect for your parent. Now, when I hear that whole thing like, oh, respect your elders, I'm like, fam, if you ain't blood or my parent... No. So like other, you know, older adults, yeah, they could get this work. I don't care talking back to them. But my parents, no. I uh, it's it's crazy because like you know, like uh it, it's it's just there's if I'm even telling a story, so like let's say for an example, if I'm telling a story, like I don't even curse in front of my parents. So for an example, if I'm like, oh, yeah, I was out today, and this guy, he was going off. He was all like, man, F this and F that. That's how I say it. But I won't actually say the word because it's just you You just have that respect for your parent. You just, you don't actually, you don't go through with it. You don't, you don't actually say it, and they don't have a problem with it. If they were to be all like, oh, you know, you can, you can say, like, what they're saying and stuff. I'm not, as long as you ain't saying it to me, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Until I hear those words, okay? Until then, it's like, oh yeah, that man said F this, they said F that, they're like, I ain't going nowhere, F all this, I'm about to blow this, this B up, and I'm like, I, that's how, that's just how I talk, you know, with my parents, but it's just, yeah, it's just that respect that you, and I'm not saying that you're being disrespectful if um you do like it, so like, yeah, if, if you're telling this story and then you, you're repeating the curse words and stuff, no, this not being disrespectful it's disrespectful though when you're cussing out your parent now when i watch like those dr phil episodes uh what else May mainly that but oh no the one tv show i used to watch that show all the time because i always i i don't know why but like, cause like, so in my household, like if you tried that being all disrespectful, you you either got, you got some form of punishment. Now with my dad, I remember he would have me do pushups. My mom whooped me. And <laughs> it, it's something where it's like, you know, hey, it makes you sit down and realize like when you think of the situation where it's like, well, dang, I shouldn't have done that. Like I can't be mad at my parents because you know that's just overall how they were raised. I know people probably would like ask that question. Do you would like when you have kids, are you gonna whoop them? No. I I just my thing is this, like I'm not saying that excuse me, my parents did things the wrong way. I'm just saying, like, for me, I'm not gonna whoop my kids. If I my if I can't sit there and talk with them, I'm like then fam, I don't I don't know. I, I feel like at some point in time I went uh wrong with parenting. And I'm not saying that you know you it well, I mean, I don't know. Like it's it's one of those things I I'm not a parent just yet, so like I haven't crossed that bridge, but I just know right now where it stands, I don't plan on whooping my kids. I'm gonna try to go not even try. Like that's just something where it's like that's just the thing with them. I'm like, I'm not going to whoop them for any reason. Like, I guess like if we're doing a comedy skit, right? And then that's like the part of the skit where it's like it's 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 fake. It ain't like they really getting. So that'll probably be the only time when I whoop them. But other than that, I'm like on some real life stuff. I'm like if I can't sit there and explain it to them, then I'm like yeah, it, it's just I don't know. I don't know what like it, it's just one of those things where I'm like yeah, when I we I become a parent, I'm just gonna have to cross that bridge while I'm crossing and stuff. But anyways, um, but yeah, like when I watch those TV shows, man, like it was it was crazy how those. Kids Kids was acting on there like uh nanny 911 oh my god those kids were bad bro <laughs> they were bad and it was something where it was like it, i found it funny because i'm like okay like for one i know i can never uh, never carry on like that in my uh household that's one thing for sure another thing is like you know when you 
see a kid like carrying on at least for me when i saw kids carrying on like that whether i was at school or whether i was out in public or watching it on tv it was funny to me i always found that but yeah it was just you know me and my um parents we always laughed at we that's one thing it's like when we see somebody acting so out of pocket and just crazy we laugh at that type of stuff so we we always find it funny and things but Anyways, and then it just seems like, you know, fast forward, you got either them same kids or a new generation of kids just being 10 times worse. And it's like, fam, why? You know, like it, it like tripped me out when I see like, oh, no, it was the one I think that was a Dr. Phil episode. But the kid was like he was mad at his mom for something. And he slapped his mom. And I'm like, fam, that that's something where it's like, I'm not even afraid to put myself out there on blast, like on what would happen to me. But I know I probably will find myself waking up and I'm just so, you know, I like when a person, when they get knocked out and then like that moment when they're waking up and they trying to like, you know, they're just all disoriented and they don't know where they're at and they trying to like get back into, you know, into the earth and things. But I know for a fact I will find myself probably laid out on the floor and then just having like people like grab it onto me all like, hey, can you can you feel this? They're like, are, are you OK? I'm like, what happened? Like I was sitting down, I was talking and I remember I slapped my mom and, and I, what what happened there? Like, yeah, she um she took the steel chair right out from underneath you and just went across your head with it. I was like, was I still in a sit sitting position? They're like, yeah, you it happened so fast. It's like you didn't even have time to fall after she snatched the chair out from underneath you. Like she snatched it, flipped it and just went across your head with it. I'm like, she snatched, flip and went a like snatch, flip and then went across. I'm like, wow. Like, like that's cool but like i'm in my they're like yeah it, it it turns out you got like 15 concussions right now i'm like 15 concussions i'm like how is that even possible like well she she went a, a few times across your head i'm like dang man so i'm like all these people in this room right now they, they're not real they're like it, it's just only me and you i'm like wow okay so i am i am going through but yeah like no but honestly like all seriousness <clears throat> I know for a fact, like, well, no, I know, like, physical harm would have been done to me, but I, I definitely think that I would have, and it's something where it's like, I couldn't even be mad or couldn't have any ill feelings towards it, like, I know my parents would never look at me the same, and I probably, I probably either would have been, I maybe I, well, I don't know, like, I, well... I, I'm trying to think like I it's something that I, I it wouldn't surprise me like if my parents were to adopt me if I were carrying on like that because they're all like no nah, he got something going on with him and stuff so it's like he he's no longer welcomed in this house yeah because if I'm doing stuff like that I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if they were to kick me out and it's like yeah that's, that's just something where it's like no you you gotta you gotta go like you out here disrespecting your parents like that it's like nah fam you, you gotta go like it's it's crazy and then like just just hearing it like now because that was like that i think that episode came out some years ago and i think like the newer episodes now when they talk on them is like these kids they want to be um content creators and they're all like oh i just want to sit around and play fortnite here's the thing like you know i guess talking on that it's like I know I may say a lot where it's like, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm working on YouTube like 24 seven and things, but I at least make time for my family, you know, like where, whether if we're hanging out, like just not too long ago, went to a, um, a Seahawks game with my dad, um, hanging out with my uh, mom, like, you know, every chance throughout the day when I um, can like hang out with her and stuff. Um, and then, yeah, with my sister, it's like, you know, we always have like some sort of family time. But if I, yeah, if I do like go and um, decide like oh, I'm going to, you know, work on some videos real quick, they're not tripping about it and things. And so, yeah, I just, you know, do my, but I make sure of it. It's like I'm not gone like the whole day and they don't see me until like later on that night, like literally hours before the next day. Like they don't, they didn't see me that morning, not all, all throughout the day, none of that. No, that's just, that's, that's unheard of. I'm like no my family is constantly seeing me and stuff so yeah it's, it's 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 one of those things or seeing me hearing from me whatever the situation is but 
yeah, it's like, it, it's just one of those things where it's like, you always put family first, you know, even if like, the thing is this, like, even if they don't put your dreams first, you, you still got to put your family like up there and stuff like you can't you can't just go and just be like oh no nah, like i ain't i don't want to i don't want to be it because it's you know when i see stuff like that it, it makes it like hard to well no no not hard to like look at content creating but it just makes content creating feel different like it makes it feel like that like you're 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 gonna look you're gonna get looked at differently because people like they because that that's the one thing for sure it's like i'm not gonna allow these kids to be the spokespeople for uh, content creators. It's like, no, them kids, they just got their wires in their head uh, done incorrectly and stuff. But yeah, it's like, I, I just, I don't know what's up with those kids. Cause I'm like that, you know, stuff like that. I'm like, that would make no sense. It's like, what, what are you? Cause like, no, there's the one video I saw, um, where the kid, he was like, he, I think, well, I think more so he had a video game addiction. I don't think it was not on some stuff where he wanted to be a YouTuber or anything. He just overall had a video game addiction. So anyways, he, uh, you know, hold on for one second. All right, I'm back. I just had to do some things real quick. But anyway, well, to be honest, I wanted to watch this scene of uh, AEW Rampage. So don't judge me, okay? I'm, I'm still a wrestling fan even when I'm doing podcast episodes. So, but anyways, um, but no, like, so the kid, he had this video game addiction. And his mom's telling him, like, hey, get off the game. And he's, like, yelling back at her. And I'm thinking to myself, like, fam, so I know because people probably ask me, like, you know, well, with all the, like, you know, like gaming like streaming and then gaming channels and all that stuff like do you have a video game addiction if i do it, it's not as strong as that like it, it it's it'll never be on some stuff where it's like i can't you know see my family right now because i i gotta get like the all the skins in Fortnite where i gotta get but yeah you'll hear things like that where it's like uh kids will take their parents um credit card or debit card, whatever, and they'll, yeah, use it for Fortnite, the one that really tripped me out, and I, bruh, I, I need to go, and, um, I, I'm trying to think, did I ever post that video, I don't think I ever did post that video, so there is this video of this mom, where she, and I'm like, the thing is, is just, it don't matter what your parent has done to you, you don't do that to them, you don't put them in a, in a tough situation like that, so, but anyways, so the kid takes his mom's rent money and spent it on his girlfriend. I'm like, bruh, you you cannot do that. Like, you cannot. I don't care how mad you are at your parent. You can never, ever <laughs> spend your parents' money and then just think you're going to get away with that. No, I, I That happened a while ago. I think maybe... A month or two ago, I, I I have yet to hear whatever happened to that kid. Cause no, that's crazy. It's like you do some stuff like that, then you you think it's normal. Like fam, you have to at some point in time realize that that's not normal. Like you you cannot do that and stuff. It, it, it's it's just it's confusing. It's it's very confusing that he's he thought that that would be a good idea. Like, no, bruh, you can't even spend a dollar of that money. That is your mom's rent money, so she can continue staying where she is staying at. I I don't understand. It, it's it's crazy how, like, there would be some kids out there where they'll get clueless on that type of stuff, and they're all like, well, can they not just, can the rent people just hold them, um, you know, wait until a, a little bit longer and things? No! They need, the thing is this, to explain it to kids out there that's just mad disrespectful, when rent is due, rent is due, my, it, it's like, you can look at some of the most simplest things in life, bruh. Like, my, cause like, alright, so, this for an example. When you go to play a song off of your Spotify account, Apple Music account, whatever it is, imagine if the song didn't play until after you clicked on that song. You're gonna be mad about that. You're gonna be like, no, I'm paying money for a uh, Spotify subscription, whatever music service that you use, but you're paying money for this music service, 
and they're not overall like you know giving you your 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 product they're you're, they're not giving you your music you go and click on it you got the song downloaded wi-fi is enabled all that stuff and nothing's being played you're gonna be mad about that so you're like no i want i want my song now i want to listen to it right now i want to listen to it on your time i want to listen to it on my time all right so it, it's stuff like that where it's like people need to sit down and think well how would you feel all right if somebody owed you money or if they yeah you were expecting money or whatever the situation is and you didn't get your money so then what are you going to do? So yeah, it's like, it's people, I just think like, you know, yeah, there's just people out there, they're just inconsiderate and they don't care about others. But yeah, it's like, I just, that story, I'm like, man, oh, and then there's the one story. It was like, it was much more worse than that. Like, so the boy, he got upset at his uh, mom for some reason destroyed her whole place i it looked like it could have been an apartment but still like it it was a lot of stuff in there that he destroyed he destroyed the counter for her kitchen he destroyed like i think the tv it was a bunch of things in there that was destroyed and i'm like how like why <laughs> like, like honestly what how do you have that much anger in your system to where you will do some stuff like that like it 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 confuses me man i'm like i just i don't know <laughs> like with me i just i've never been that angry to where i was like hey you know what let me destroy my parents stuff and see how that like no bro like i just like because the thing is is that like I want to get into acting one day and I feel like that they probably would hire me for a movie where it's like or or a TV show and they're it, it, like a law and order TV show and they're all like oh yeah dude snap like my character they're all like oh yeah his um he snapped killed both his parents I'm like but why I gotta have such a dark role like that like how come I couldn't have been like no bank robber or something or you know like a uh you know or, or a catalytic converter stiller or something you why why I gotta do some old dark stuff like that why why like how how come they everybody else throughout the week they all get normal episodes and I get the darkest episode they're like yeah biggest to showcase your acting ability I'm like all right hold on time out because I don't want my parents to just, you know, they watch this and then they look at me different because they think that I played the role too well. So now they they question me. They can't sleep at night. They see me walking around. They're all like, no, what you doing walking around? You got a butter knife in your hand. I'm like, I'm just trying to make me a sandwich. And then they confused on why I'm making a sandwich in the middle of the night. And I'm trying to explain to them at times at night, I get hungry. Prior, before that, I can walk around the house with a butter knife. Now, after that Law & Order episode, I can't do it no more because they seen how crazy I can be in a TV show and I'm like nah man so it's it's somewhere it's like I think I don't know if if the money is right I'm like hey I got paid some I got paid some money all right to do that so you you guys y'all just gonna have to roll with it I ain't crazy but I'm just trying to get paid all right so but yeah man it's like it's stuff like that where it's just it's it's just it confuses me on how I see kids and just, you know, overall, yeah, people act and stuff to their um, parents. Like, yeah, it's just you got some ungrateful kids out there. But, no, it's like, it, it. I mean, it goes back, like, probably since the beginning of time where it's like, you know, there is always, like, that one ungrateful kid and stuff. And, um, yeah, it's just, you know, I've, I've heard so many, yeah, dark stories and just, you know, like, Dr. Phil type stories where it's like, yeah, you got some people out there that have done things where it's like they're most likely now regretting it because they're spending life in prison for it and, you know, over here taking their parents' lives over some dumb stuff. Like, I'll never forget the one story where the kid, he took his mom's life because uh, she, I think, or no. So, no, it wasn't even his mom. It was the dad. And I'm like, even then, still, though, like, you shouldn't have done what you did and stuff, but... He goes in, um, his, so he, uh, so he wanted to get Halo 3. This happened, like, years ago, but he wanted to get Halo 3. His dad said no. He somehow, some way, I think, made the money to get Halo 3, and then, uh, yeah, he bought it, was playing it, whatever, and all that stuff. Well, the thing is, is that his dad, it, I think his dad was a, um, was a pastor, or is a pastor, I don't know, but anyways... Um, he didn't want his kid playing that, which I can, you know, understand. Like, you know, it's it's like those pastor parents. They, I'm, I, yeah, it's like I, I can understand it. I can understand why they wouldn't want because it's like that's just that's not their household and stuff. So, but anyways, 
So he somehow, some way, got the game, was playing it. Dad seen him playing it, took the game away from him, and put it in his safe. Well, the kid knew the combination to the safe, so I think most people will probably be all like, oh, well, he probably just went, opened up the safe, and just played it. No, he went for his dad's gun, shot and then killed his mom, and then shot his dad. Didn't kill his dad, but still. Like, he, I know he has to be in prison right now, sitting down, thinking about that, and it's like, why did I do that? Like, why was it, was it really that serious? Look how many Halo games. My thing is this, you know, if I, if I was in a situation like that, but no, I, I, I actually was, I actually was. But the funny thing is, is that if a kid is just patient, right? If a kid is just patient, eventually your parents, I mean, and it's up to them. It's up to them whether they're going to, you know, be like whatever you want it and they didn't, you didn't get a chance to get it. They might. They might get it. But so anyways, back when I was a kid, Grant that follows San Andreas is releasing for the first time. I wanted that game. So what was funny was that I remember seeing it in stores, right? Seeing it in stores, asked my mom for it. My mom, this was like when video games was like $49.99. So yeah, games was like, <laughs> games was much cheaper. But yeah, back then it was like, you know, video games. I bought, they were, they were still expensive. I mean, $49.99, I'm trying to think. I'd rather spend that much than $69.99 or, you know. But anyways... So yeah, I remember I asked my mom. My mom said no, but she was all like, "You could get Grand Theft Auto Three if you um want that Grand Theft Auto and stuff." So I ended up getting Grand Theft Auto Three. Then that same night, <laughs> the same night, I kid you not, same night, my dad um comes home with Grand Theft Auto Vice Cities, and I'm like, "Fam, how do you what like what what just?" And I think that was like one of the first few times I remember he had uh. He had got, um, he went to GameStops, I think, because, yeah, it was like, I remember the game case being cracked, and I'm like, why the game case look like, well, it's still a video game, I don't care how that game case look, it's still a video game, but, yeah, like, because, uh, GameStops, for those that have never shopped at GameStops, there will be at times where you get, um, a game, and it's like the, it's like messed up or whatever and stuff, so, but anyways, um, but yeah, then I remember I, I did eventually, um, ask my dad for, uh, San Andreas and then uh he was all like no he was like games um it's too explicit it's too crazy and stuff i was like, i'm not gonna get it i'm like well dang man i'm like you know that's it's messed up i really wanted to play it then i think that same year on christmas ended up getting grant that follows san andreas and so yeah it was just one of those things where it's like if you wait and you're patient at some point in time you're going to get what you want to get. And that kid, it was like, what, how many Halos done came out uh, since then? Because it was like, what, Halo, um, so there was three, Reach, four, five, Infinite, like what, five Halos done came out and stuff? Like, I'm saying, there's a lot of different Halo games that came out, and it's like, this kid could have been playing it, never going to play a Halo again a day in his life. Never. And I'm like, even I think back in the 90s, there's this one um, story, there was like the Menendez brothers, where they, um, I think they wanted to get their parents uh, insurance money or something like that. And yeah, they were just out like traveling the world, freaking, I think one was over playing tennis when he eventually got caught by the police. I can't remember what the other one was doing, but yeah, it's like... I, that's something where it's like, you know, um, my parents, like, will joke around, like, around with it, I'll, like, oh, like, if I, like, accidentally bump into them, or whatever, or something, or if I ask them, can they do some, like, crazy, like, hey, can you do three backflips for no reason, then they're like, oh, I see what you're trying, you trying to get me to injure myself for the insurance, but, like, we joke around, but it's something where it's like, I, I just couldn't bring myself to it because I've never, that's one thing I remember I was thinking, I'm like, I've never seen my parents in pain, I would not want to be that one to cause it. So, yeah, there's just, it, it, you just, the thing is this. You always, all right, for as long as your time is on earth, okay, for the rest of your life, you always have a respect for your parents. Always. And it's, yeah, it's just, it's it's crazy to me, like, how people, they, you know, they just, they, they mad disrespectful to their parents. And it's like, for what? Like, and then there's the, um... The one, I remember there was the one uh, guy, that, that racist dude that was joining my stream being toxic and stuff. And uh, I remember he joined my stream and he was uh, talking about like how he curses in front of his uh, uh, mom. And then he was like, oh, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to curse um, whenever I feel like it. And it's like, yeah, you just, you know, you just disrespectful. It's like, it ain't got nothing to do with you wanting to be a grown man. It's like the thing, the funny thing is, is like, I'm older than him and I don't curse in front of my parents. 
So, like, that, it just shows where it's like, no, there's just people out there where it's all like, they try to find ways where they can be disrespectful, but it's like, fam, there ain't no need for it, so... But anyways, yeah, people, it's like, it's just, you know, moral of this story, of this podcast episode, just be respectful to your parent. That's it. That's all you got to do. It's like parents, parents, you know, other people, like when they all like, oh, respect your elders and it just be some old random, it's Craig from down the street. I'm all like, okay, Craig, you could get this work. But my parents, it's like, no, you can't put your, I'll never forget when um, it was a manager at my old job. She tried to like put herself on the same level as my mom. I'll never forget that. I was telling my mom about that not too long ago. The manager was all like, I think, I can't remember how I overall reacted, but I, I, she wanted me to work at another location. And I said that numerous times. I'm like, I don't like working at those locations because it's slow. I like working at the fast pace. There are 500 people. You would think, you don't hear that too often. And you don't hear where a co-worker or yeah you know your employee he wants to work at the busy location he wants them he wants more work I, you never hear of that so I, I it confuses me on how she reacted but so anyways she goes and um so she asked me and I was like yeah I guess I'm like I you know I just I don't really want to but yeah sure whatever and stuff and the thing is this, I'm like, I, I'm i for certain that I've said them same exact words to my parents and stuff, where it's like, if they've asked me a question or if they've asked me to do something, I'm like, yeah, sure, I guess, you know, I don't, I don't really want to, but yeah, sure, you know, it, it's just something where it's like, you know, you, but you still doing it, you know, you still went out and did it and things. So anyways, I go over to the other location and she's already there. She, uh, cause she, I think I was like getting, I'm um, gathering up my stuff and she already had walked over there and things. So I'm over there. And I remember, uh, when I had walked up to the cash register, I think I was getting ready to ask her a question or I was just waiting for her to walk away. I, it was something, but so anyways, she goes and she's all like, you know, that was, um, that was very rude or disrespectful how you responded to me. You, you know, um, you wouldn't talk to your mother that way, would you? And I'm like, first off, you are not on the same level as my mom. My, it's like my mom brought me into this world. All you do is sign my checks. I can easily go out and find me another job, another manager and everything else. A mom, though, you can't go out and find another mom. Like, not like mine. I'm, like, not trying to say, like, oh, you know, my mom is better than everybody else's mom. But I'm just saying, you know, I grew up with this woman. I know her. She raised me. That is my blood. That is my mom. You are not on that same level. So don't ever put yourself on that same level. It's like, no, when she said that, I just walked off. Because I was like, that is honestly one of the most silliest things I've ever heard. Because if I were to say that same thing to you... You will be looking at me saying the same exact thing. You are not my parent. You are not my guardian. I can talk to you crazy anyway. And the funny thing was, I didn't even say anything crazy. Even when I was bringing it up to other people, they were all like, the pe- and there was people that was there. They seen how I responded. And they were like, you didn't say nothing though. Like you, wait, what? I'm, I'm confused. Time out. What, what, what is going on? I think at times though, like I, I might've scared those guys cause they were probably all like, Hey, yo, Tyler is about to quit. Like he's, he has not had enough of these managers saying crazy things to him. He, he's gone. Like, no, it just takes one more time and he is gone. But yeah, I think we all know it's like, yeah, because of the pandemic and stuff. But yeah, it's like, yeah, random people, you know, if it's it's up to you. But if they're being disrespectful to you, then yeah, obviously be disrespectful to them. But and then I know like people probably ask that question, like, well, what would you do if your parent was being disrespectful to you? There's been times when my parents have said disrespectful things to me. And it's the thing is what I do. I just kind of silence myself away or, you know, just kind of bring myself away from the situation. I, so I pretty much just do what I did to the to the manager. I just walk away. I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm like, if you want to be disrespectful, you go. Because I'm just at a point in time in my life where I'm all like, hey, yo, that that disrespect, I'm like, it ain't like it's going to do nothing to me. So I'm just going to walk away, do my own thing. You'll understand where if I'm being, you know, not as talkative to you and stuff, then yeah, it's like, you know, it's then you'll, you'll know. And so, but yeah, it's just, it's one of those things where I've like, and yeah, I've heard situations where there's been, you know, some mad disrespectful parents. And then yeah, talking to the parents, it's like always show respect and love to your kids. And then same with the kids, always show love and respect to your parents. I should do a podcast episode to just kind of even things out like disrespectful 
uh, parents and stuff because no, I've heard some stories of some crazy, um, some crazy parent stories. So yeah, I think I'll probably have that um as the next episode, but or, or a future episode, whenever, whenever. But anyways, uh, yeah. But that being said, you know, once again. Kids, be respectful to your parents. It's easy, all right? So, but anyways, thank you guys for watching and or listening. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on a podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Make sure you subscribe to one of my 43, 46 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram at Boss, And make sure you follow my Facebook page at Boss fan page. Also, I got my SeatGeek stuff to work again. So make sure you use my promo code Boss, and it will knock $20 off your first purchase. Thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace.